Oh, out there drinking? It's terrible to see a drunken man. And it's terrible to see a drunken woman. To see a drunken woman, her voice get deep like a man. All out there in the street. I don't Leave me alone. Some of you brothers, man, you drink up all your money. You won't even put food in the refrigerator. Wife got to argue with you. Wife trying to do right, want to get a life right with God. She's scared to even let you in the house. Listen, anytime you get under an influence of anything, and to make you act worse than an animal, you don't need that thing. When you get so messed up that you will argue with a telephone pole. <laughs> hey man. You argue with a telephone pole. I often think of a fellow that I grew up with, his name was Nate, but you know in the hood, we got all type of short names, so we called him Ghost. Ghost was big too, man. Tall brother like Huey, but he muscular and whatnot. And so trash day was set out, somebody set the refrigerator out. And Nate, I heard this noise, maybe like two or three in the morning, man. I was still home, I looked out my window, and that was Nate. He bumped up against the next door neighbor's refrigerator that was out there for trash. You know, and, and, oh, he had it out with the fridge. He, had, he told the fridge, wake up, who you think you looking at? Man, look, you better get out the way because, you know, I ain't walking around you. <laughs> he pushed the refrigerator and the weight of the refrigerator came back and hit Nate in the chest. And Nate went back, Nate said, oh, no. Oh, no. Man, Nate went hitting that refrigerator. Boom, 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 boom. Knocked it down and then stomped it. Told the refrigerator, get out. <laughs> Look at yourself in your past life and see where you that crazy. <laughs>